After a pair of Atlantic 10 road wins, the number 17 Richmond Spiders are back home for their conference opener. It's a rematch of the 2019 A-10 quarterfinals as they take on the Duquesne Dukes. 24 now on the shot clock as Duquesne will get right past Delaney Galvin to tie it up at one. Big turnover for Richmond that led to a goal that was Lindsey Frank for the Spiders. Now Richmond goes up three to one. Richmond will get in the way there, knock it loose. That was Maggie O'Brien. But doesn't wow. matter, they still get a shot. That's Alana Piano again, a name we keep hearing a lot. Mm -hmm. She is a great defender, as we said in the beginning of the game, but she can also shoot and score. <laughs> she can shoot and score, and, and how about that fashion? Only four seconds left to the first quarter. Duquesne making the most of some of their opportunities. Curtis with a dart right past Delaney Galvin of Richmond for their third goal of the game. Spiders still up by three. 55 seconds on the shot clock for the Spiders. And they'll pelt one in. That was Colleen Quinn. Again, her second goal of the game. Marina Miller with the offensive rebound. Big. And Arden Tierney with a, a wraparound to the low right corner of the goal. What an impressive shot. Richmond up 11 to four, wanting another goal here. And they get one, unbelievable. We're back at Robin Stadium, Richmond leading 12 to four over Duquesne and it's halftime here. Christina D'Angelo next to me, I'm Natalie Calbat. Thank you for joining us. And Christina, we see that Richmond has this 13 to four draw control edge. If you're Duquesne, what do you need to do to reset here in the second half and earn those draw control wins? Well, if I'm Corinne, if I'm the coach at Duquesne, um, I'm really gonna focus on trying to disrupt what's happening with Arden. So it seems like when the ball's on the ground, Duquesne has a better chance of getting in there. Um, and so I would probably work on trying to get that ball away from her, out of her cylinder, loose on the ground, trying to pick up those ground balls and you know have it going our way. Um, so that would be my plan. We see some pockets of what Duquesne can do, right? At the end of the first quarter, the clock is winding down and they pelt one in. Yeah. They can get it done on both sides of the ball, on offense and on defense. What do they need to focus on here in, 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 in both phases in the second half? I think when they have, you know, it's between the 30s, a lot of the mistakes and errors that are happening. So we're seeing them perform, you know, decently well in defense. And then, you know, they're getting the ball on offense and they're able to convert. But if they can't connect these passes through the midfield, you know, being a young team, they have to make sure they hang on to the ball. Possession is key. So if they can keep possession, I think they can do some damage. But right now, Richmond's just, you know, in there and they're able to get those 50-50 balls quicker at this time. And so I think that's Duquesne's struggle. So I would say possession's a big deal. You mentioned the youth of the team, Richmond. We've seen a lot of... Uh, women from from all ages from all freshmen to seniors getting some of these goals we take a look at these stats that 13 to 5 draw control edge that they have is is absolutely incredible you want to make sure it's balanced on the other side if you're duquesne and richmond with their saves five to two delaney galvin has been holding it down in the net for the spiders and then, of course, the, the 16 to 12 shots and, and 14 to 9 shots on goal for the Spiders. Yeah, I mean, I think Richmond's definitely out shooting Duquesne right now. That comes with possession, so that's not surprising. But, the, you know, I do like their next play mentality. They're taking a shot. It doesn't work out. They're right back at it. Or, you know, they're making an error on offense. They're getting the ball back. They're right back at it. So that mentality is definitely um, it's awesome. And so that's something Duquesne has to match right now. So they just have to keep getting in there. Um, you know, that being Duquesne, they have to keep getting in there. And they need to have that next play mentality. So it's yeah. a gorgeous day for women's college lacrosse. Richmond leading 12 to 4 over Duquesne. We'll be back with the second half after this. She gets it right past Delaney Galvin for back-to-back -back goals. Duquesne comes right out of the break and scores two right away. Really good conditions for lacrosse. A really impressive scoop and sprint by Brittany Wright. You can see her speed as she was trotting down the sidelines. 
It looks like Brittany's been waiting for that run all game. She's yeah, just been waiting and she got it. She's so fast and there is another Richmond goal. And that's Colleen Quinn, that's her third of the day. And just like that, that'll do it. The final score here at Robin Stadium, 17 to eight. Make that one, two, three, four wins in a row for the Richmond Spiders, Christina. They just set sail and keep cruising right along.